How are we doing there boys and girls? Mantis here and welcome back to another video. So a real quick short one for you today. Uh, I wanted to just touch on the fact that now the change to the policy again in relation to multi-boxes, a good few amount of your realms are going to see just silly, silly numbers of cloth being dumped on the auction house really, really cheaply. Uh, and this is basically a little bit of a reminder for some of you guys out there. Most of you will be aware of this, but you, any time you can get your hands on shrouded cloth for under the value of about two gold a piece, it is possible to shuffle it into items to then vendor and you basically break even. Now, of course, there are other better ways to utilize this cloth for example making some items to maybe then disenchant to make sure that by the time 9.1 turns up you've got a good supply of things like soul dust probably not the worst idea either um, but I wanted to point this out multi boxes appear to be dumping their materials in very very large quantities basically trying to cash out uh, as they now suspect that their their operation going forward is going to be severely hindered by the new policy changes. Um, so yeah, let's just take a very quick moment and look at a few things. The Undermine Journal on my realm has been doing uh, doing some madness. Look at the spike in materials in just shrouded cloth that appeared. The average price pretty uh, average quantity is pretty normal. 20, 30, 40 thousand, no problems whatsoever. Day or two ago, we get the information that multi-boxing is changing. Bang! All of a sudden, 300,000 shrouded cloth appears on my realm overnight. Um, so I took it upon myself to, well, do what a goblin does and I bought it all. Uh, any any time you can get your hands on shrouded cloth for under about two gold, you can generally turn a profit from it. Now, of course, the time it takes to shuffle all of this or craft things to disenchant has got to be taken into consideration. But anything under two gold is a pretty good price. Long term, you can do something with it, even if it's just sell it back to the people that are willing to pay more than that. You'll see I've already started to list a whole bunch of it put about 100k of it back straight on the auction house put it at a high price if somebody buys it they buy it if they don't they don't it's no skin off my back it's a nice little opportunity for a flip nonetheless but i wanted to bring your attention to the shadowlands cheat sheet that i put out there for everybody the link to this if you want to have access to this yourself is in the discord the link to the discord is down below in the description um put the price that you're able to get the shrouded cloth for uh, your penumbra thread, this really only becomes valuable if you're exalted with a faction so that you can buy it for 7 gold and 20. Uh, the default price for the thread I think is 9 gold, so you want to be able to get it considerably cheaper. Um, if you're not exalted uh, with either like Stormwind or Ogrimmar, for example, try going back to one of the main factions from BFA, where the likelihood is, is you're, you're exalted with those guys and you'll be able to buy the penumbra thread nice and cheap. Uh, but the addition I've put in today, really simple, really rudimentary, just for the purpose of tailoring, because of course we're talking about the cloth today, is all of the basic green items you can craft with tailoring and what your profit and or loss is for them based on the price that you can get your shrouded cloth for. I was able to pick up all my shrouded cloth for 1 gold 58. It meant that there were a few items that I could quite simply craft them, vendor them and still turn a profit. Not a lot though, we're talking less than three gold per robe that you're gonna be crafting. Now, of course, these are like a two second craft, continuous crafting, even fully optimized. You're not making a huge amount of gold per hour doing this. This is never gonna make you a millionaire, but it means that you could at least be doing something with that cloth to at the very worst break even. Do it on a second account while you're out doing your, your main stuff. And you, it, it's still a win. It's still a win. It will be a small one. It's still a win. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing for the next few days on some of my alt, uh, alt characters and my second account. I'm going to be shuffling some shrouded cloth for sure. But keep your eyes open. This is not going to be a this this is not going to be apparent on every single realm, but the opportunity will be there considering there's lots of multi boxes trying to cash out. Uh, a couple of bonus tips for anybody that's made it to this point in the video still. There will be other items you'll expect to see being dumped on the auction house relatively cheaply at the moment. Um, if multi boxes are dumping their shrouded cloth, there's a very good chance that lightless silk is also going to be dumped on the auction house relatively cheaply. Now, if you play on one of the mega realms, lightless silk is all already sort of trailer trash in price, but come 9.1, that 
uh, in that lightless silk can be turned into enchanted lightless silk and in turn into legendaries which will have an uptick in demand again um, keep your eyes on the BOEs as well um, although the value of the BOEs is steadily going to be dropping at the moment there's a good chance that these multi boxes had bags and bags of these BOEs as well and they'll be willing to sell them off at a real good price uh, and there's a very good likelihood that even going forward that these uh, these BOEs will sell at least for something. If you can get them like literally super, super cheap, there's the opportunity to turn a profit there. But there we go, boys and girls. I'll leave it there for today's video. Just a short and sweet one. Um, check your prices. Check your availability on these items. Compare it up against what you can shuffle them for uh, and take it from there. But yeah, enjoy. I've been Matthias. Hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.